What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Joel, I'm the creator of Pixelmurb.com and I just want to share with you what you can expect to find on this channel. I'm a freelance web developer, I focus on creating WordPress powered websites and I do so working with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, PHP and MySQL. So on this channel I show people how to code custom WordPress themes. So you're going to find videos on HTML, you're going to find videos on CSS, you're going to find videos on various coding languages. But I also have videos for non-coders, people who want to create a WordPress powered website and who may need some guidance on how to choose the best WordPress theme and some recommendations on which plugins they should be using on their website. I also go step by step showing people how to configure the themes and plugins as well. But being a freelance web developer and WordPress developer, I go beyond just teaching you how to code or how to configure a WordPress powered website. I also want to show you the freelance lifestyle. I want to share with you some of the difficulties that freelance freelancers have, especially in the beginning when they're transitioning from a regular 9 to 5 type of job to the world of being a freelancer. Working from home is something that a lot of people want to do, but you always want to remember that working from home also means that you're working in a very distracted environment. So I share with you some tips on how to make sure you can be productive no matter what's taking place around you. So if you want to learn how to code, if you want to learn how to manage a WordPress powered website, if you want to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, PHP, and MySQL, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that way whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. You're going to find some very short videos, maybe 5 to 10 minutes long, and you're also going to find some very long videos. Some are maybe one hour or even two hours long. On those very long videos, you're going to find that there's going to be timestamps in the description area and that will enable you just to jump to the section that you left off the last time you've been watching. So I hope to see you as part of the Pixelmurp community. Now what does Pixelmurp stand for? Some people get confused and they look at the name and say, what is that? Well, obviously it's a made up word. So what I did was I took the word pixels and took P-I-X. I took M from M's because the web is built on uh, pixels and M's and I combined it with web. So I came up with Pixum Web. It's my attempt at trying to create something branded and something unique. Now just a little bit of background, I wasn't a prodigy coder as a kid. I learned how to code later on in life. I'm completely 100% self-taught. I transitioned from a career that required me to wear a suit and tie almost every single day to now where I get to wear t-shirts and shorts. Even though every now and then I like to get dressed up as well. And the most important part is that I get to spend a significant amount of time with my family. Because I have a belief that you should work hard, but you should also play hard. Put in your time early on, work as hard as you can, and then in time, you'll be able to do the things that you want to do. Alright, so what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button make sure to click the notification bell and join this community you'll find a bunch of videos and playlists that'll help you become a freelancer or just how to create a WordPress powered website for your business and your brand so I hope to hear from you in the comment sections of all my videos take care